welcome back to everyone's favorite inconsistent internet show. Hi, I'm here. Believe it or not, I do remember I have a YouTube channel every once in a while, and every once in a while I show up on here and talk about art stuff. So today, the day that this is going up, Valentine's Day, is my 11 years of writing practice day and Usually, um, over the past couple years I haven't made videos, but uh, I have been posting on Instagram every year at least. Um, but I, I know I didn't make a video last year, but I think I made a video two years ago, I want to say. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, February 14th, writing practice anniversary thing. Uh, and I have some thoughts and some observations and all that cool stuff, so yeah. One thing I do also want to make sure I mention is uh, February 14th is also my coming out day. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about asexuality this year because I am in the same relationship that I was in last February, and so I really don't have anything that I feel like I should disclose publicly because any developments in my sexuality or self-discovery or anything really only pertains to myself and one other person. Um, although, I know I talked about it last year and the year before that, uh, so scroll back through my Instagram if you want to hear some of my uh, older asexuality talk. I just wanted to mention that because I don't want anybody to leave a comment being like, um... It's also your coming out day and you should talk about your sexuality because I'm a person on the internet who needs to know about your sexuality for some reason. Uh, and I don't know, I don't feel like it's cool to pry into other people's sexual orientation and they should be able to talk about it whenever they want. And right now is not whenever I want, so uh, yeah, I've been ace or known I've been ace for four years? Yeah, 2024 20, years. Uh, it's it's a fun time. It's very interesting. Um, I don't know. Are, w would people be interested in just generic ace thoughts? I won't go too much into specifics of my current relationship, but um, I don't know. I'd be down to talk about other observations I've had that are more general in life. I don't know. Let me know. Give me give me reasons to make YouTube videos, honestly. At this point, give me reasons to make YouTube videos. So 11 years. Um, this year feels a lot more special than last year, which I think is odd because last year was year 10. However, this year we've hit the half of my life moment. I'm 22, so that means after this year, the years of my writing practice will have eclipsed the years before that. Um, so I think this year in particular feels extra special, extra noteworthy. I don't really know. Um, but it was something that I wanted to come on here and talk about because a lot's happened in my life and a lot has not happened yet in my life and will probably happen within the next year or so. So yeah. The first big thing that I should mention that has happened in the past year that is both life and career related uh, you may already know this, probably, is that I graduated. I have my BFA now. Um, I graduated with a BFA in animation with a dual minor in media cinema studies and illustration, which is a big mouthful. I also have a concentration to my degree, uh, so if you want like all of my degree credentials, it's a lot of words. Uh, but the part that matters, at least to me, and my practice is BFA in animation and the media studies minor. Uh, that's mostly what I do and what I'm tailoring my career towards and what I advertise myself to graduate programs as. Uh, which I guess I can segue into now in my notes. I had that a bit later, but since I brought up grad school, I am going to talk about it now. And that is I am applying to MFAs right now. Uh, visual arts, I should specify, because this is a writing video. Uh, I'm, I want to do a visual arts animation related MFA. So not a creative writing MFA. 
Uh, so that's fun. Uh, I haven't gotten any uh, acceptances yet. I was gonna say final decisions, but that's not true. I've gotten, I've had two interviews and one rejection uh, for seven schools total I applied to. So it'll be fun, it'll be cool. Um, the rejection I did get was my first choice school, I think, I don't know. I don't really have a concrete ranking of the schools. However, I'm kind of holding out hope for my, the two, there, there are two that I think of the remaining six that I haven't heard anything from either of them yet. Um, however, I think if I were to get into one of the two, I would pick them probably, I don't know. We'll see, it's hard to, it's hard, it's really hard when uh, they're not <laughs> giving you your decisions back yet. They are taking their, their sweet ass time with decisions. Hey, this is Ed and Claire uh, chiming in because uh, that's not true anymore. Um, about six hours after I filmed this video, I got my first offer, which is really exciting. Uh, it's when I talk about the, the top two schools, uh, it's not one of those two, but it is a very good option and I'm very, very excited about it. So uh, yeah. Anyway, let's talk about writing projects because this is the writing anniversary writing birthday whatever you want to call it video um, and so i really want to talk this year about changing your format and changing forms and writing in different forms and evolving creatively so what that means for me is like i started out as a child, I wrote short stories and then the short stories got longer and longer until I started writing novels. So when I was in high school, I was mostly writing novels. Uh, there were a couple short stories in there somewhere, but most of those were like four school classes. Um, and then I sort of got back into short fiction in college because I had to write a short story for my like comp one, comp and rhetoric, whatever your school calls it, um, the, the like composition one class that like every freshman has to take. Uh, but I wrote a short story for that and that got published and that was my first publication. Um, and not that I like ever like denounced short stories, but like I think that reinvigorated that. Um, so then I wrote a few more short stories in college, including one that I finished after college because it took like two years to write because it was like really complicated and I wanted to make sure all the lore was right and fit. Uh, that I'm submitting right now. It is out to four places, I think. Four or five-ish. Um, they're all really good and I would be so happy if that story got picked up in any of those magazines because um, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I don't know, should I like disclose what it's about or something or should I leave it as a surprise? I don't know, I think I'm gonna leave the premise as a surprise, but I will tell you the title. The title of the short story is Jessica um, and it took forever to write and I'm kind of glad it took forever to write because of some life events that happened between me starting and me finishing the story. Um, that I can maybe talk about in like a dedicated video about that story or short fiction in general. The other writing thing that I wanted to talk about uh, is comics. Uh, I've been doing like one page comics. I, I've had an idea for a longer comic for a while. I have like half of the script, but my problem is I don't understand how comics work um, like at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying so hard. If you have any like comic writing tips, let me know because um, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but it started, I made one like a one pager and that got published in April. And um, my like professors who I like told about it were like, oh, you should make more comics. Comics are perfect for you. Um, which was very sweet and very nice and I've been trying. I have a couple that I'm submitting right now that haven't gotten picked up yet. Um, however, I'm holding out hope. 
because uh, I like both of those better than the one that's actually published, frankly. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I think that, you know, the like visual narrative comic adjacent stuff, uh, I think works really well for me and my visual art. And I definitely want to do more stuff like that in grad school whenever that happens um hopefully in the next year uh please get back to me schools and then the other writing related thing that i want to make sure i hit on was like film and animation because that's the bulk of what i've been doing for the past couple years that's a big reason why i haven't written a book since i was like 17 and like don't have as many short stories going as like people who just do fiction writing um it's because i do like film stuff as well and i think that falls under writing and that was something that i really have been thinking about when i was making the notes for this video and like specifically this year uh what i've been writing and the answer is like films um not like full-on screenplays although i did do that a few years ago um but like short animations short performance stuff um uh, stuff that you will see on this channel very soon Ooh. <laughs> um <laughs> but yeah i don't know i think it's just like a evolution of what i am interested in and that's fine uh, you're allowed to be interested in multiple media because like for me i think back to like high school and before when i was mostly writing short stories novels stuff like that not making films not really animating besides like lego stop motion stuff for fun and like a big part of that was like that was just what i had access to right like i wasn't i, I didn't know how to animate yet even though i was like oh i think this is what i want to go to school for like I don't know if I've talked about this online, I've definitely talked about this with people in my life before, but like, um, I think at the time I mentioned this, but like, when I applied to school, half of the schools I applied to were for theater tech, because that's what I did in high school, and that's what I had access to in high school, and so... I like had in my head I'm like oh that might be what I want to do and I guess to, to, to an extent I was right because I do like I do a lot of one person productions where it's just me you know I'm not like on film sets or anything I'm making stuff in this room by myself uh, and if there are other people they're either voice actors or doing like foley art for me or something um, but, so, so I guess I do kind of still do stuff like that, and I use a lot of the skills I gained from that for films and stuff. However, like, I didn't have access to, like, the animation before college, right? Like, that wasn't a thing that my high school offered, um, and so I really had to kind of guess what I wanted to go to, to college for, you know, um, and yeah, I mean, like, it worked out, obviously, like, I've done the degree, and I'm applying for another degree, but I don't, I don't really know where I'm going with this, other than just talking about, you know, my form has evolved as I have gained the resources to evolve my form. I hope that makes sense and I hope it doesn't come off as me being like, oh, films are like a greater, higher brow form than novels, because I don't think that's true at all. But I do think that film obviously requires a lot more equipment and like specified expertise than a short story or a novel, at least in my experience. Like if you're writing a novel that re requires a lot of like, field work research and stuff like that i can definitely see that but like the act of booting up microsoft word and the act of booting up adobe premiere like those are very adobe premiere is a lot harder to use than microsoft word and i think most if not all people would agree with that i don't know and also like i feel like when you're a kid too like writers and authors are really like 
elevated, I guess. I don't know. I remember, like, we would talk about, like, the person who wrote the book that we were reading in class and, you know, stuff like that. But when you watch a movie, it, like, doesn't click to you when you're a little kid that, like, oh, people made this, you know, unless, you know, you're tangentially connected to the film industry somehow. But... I don't know, it takes a, with art, like visual art and film, at least for me, it like took a minute to be like, oh, there's other people on the side of this, on the other side of this, you know? Um, versus like a book, a book has like somebody's name on it, you know? Um, and so you're like, yeah, this person wrote this book. Um, and so I don't know, just like maybe it's just me and my upbringing and like where and when I am from, but I feel like books have just always been more approachable to me and i can't quite square why besides what i've just said to you um but i don't know i'm really curious what people have to say about this what do you think is more approachable from like a young person's point of view uh or even just like from your vantage point as whoever you are yeah i don't know um i guess back to my process, what's next. Uh, I've mentioned grad school. I've mentioned uh, posting more stuff on this channel, hopefully soon. I don't know, it's hard to schedule because like animation takes so long. And so like the next thing I'm gonna post, I made almost a year ago, uh, but I've been sitting on it because I didn't know if I was gonna submit it to something or have it on here. I don't really, I wasn't really sure. But now I'm like, yeah, I want it on my YouTube channel. Like, I'm really glad I have this YouTube channel because I can come on here and post stuff like this once a year. Um, but I don't know. I think my relationship with it has definitely changed uh, since I was a teenager. Because like back then, uh, like I said, I was making stuff with what I had and talking about my writing process at the time, which is very different than my writing process now and what I'm up to now. Um, and so I really want to archive my old stuff. Like if you see old videos of mine disappear, don't worry, they're not gone forever. They're just coming back into my hands and hopefully I can have some sort of database for myself in the future uh, that I can reference. Because um, I think for the most part, I want to use this channel now for my creative projects with the occasional video like this talking about my creative projects. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely, like, this channel isn't going anywhere. If anything, I'm going to post more on it. Um, but I think it'll be a lot less... It, it feels weird to call it a lot less personal because I think a lot of my work is very personal. But, like, a lot less of my face, you know? And a lot less of my spewing of what I'm up to. Um, and a lot more just showing stuff yeah i don't know i still want to write more books i feel like i've been like dissing on my novels for this whole video but like i have three novel ideas one of which is a lot more progressed than the other two because it's a reskinning of jack of hearts uh my nanowrimo book from when i was like 15 um but it's Jack and Grisha are the only two characters that are still in that book. I don't know when I'm going to work on it up and ship it away at it. It, re it requires a lot of research because it takes place during a very specific event. Um, an event which I do not remember the specifics of, even though I was alive during it um, and remember a lot of the repercussions of. Um, but I would like to write that soon. I Jack has been in my life for almost 10 years. Uh, I was 15, I turned 23 this year. So that's what, eight years? That's a long time for somebody you made up. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, I, I don't know. I am very attached to that story idea. Um, and I think of the three novels I have in my head, that's definitely Definitely the one I'll write first and hopefully publish first. I don't know. I'm curious to see what happens. Like I said earlier, short stories are kind of sporadic for me at the moment just because they don't take up the biggest 
part of my brain. They're kind of my side projects, back burner projects, whatever you want to call it. Um, although I do have a title if I were to compile them into a collection, I know what I would call it. Um, but also like literary magazines have like such a slow turnaround a lot of the time that I really just like to nurse a story and then send it out and then, you know, just send out a story every once in a while once, um, once one of them gets picked up. Because that's, that's, that's a thing that I have had trouble with when like you have multiple things ready to submit and you're like, oh, do I submit this story or this story to this magazine? Do I submit this film or this film to this opportunity? That's a thing that I have thought about this year, um, and it's why I tend to only work on, not, I, I, I work on a lot of different stuff at once, but I tend to have like one forward project. I think I'm gonna start wrapping it up here. I hope you enjoyed this. This was a very rambly video, but I think uh, hopefully my ramblings are a bit cohesive and um, we talked a lot about what I'm up to, what's been happening. Uh, 11 years um, <laughs> is very long time. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at, the, the State of the Union address, let's call it. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, let me know what you've been up to. Let me know how long you've been nursing your creative practice and let me know where you're at with it. I'd be very curious to know. Uh, you should subscribe. Uh, how are you going to know when I post videos if you don't subscribe? I don't even know when I post videos. You can't just show up on Wednesday nights anymore. You gotta, you gotta check back in and see. So I recommend subscribing so you know when my very inconsistent videos go up. Uh, really, really selling it for you. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you've been here for several years of this writing journey. Uh, thank you so much. Um, if you want more active updates from me and what I'm up to, follow me on Instagram. I, I'm not super active on Instagram, but I'm a lot more active than I am on here. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, if you celebrate Lent, Lent starts today. Good luck with whatever you're giving up. Um, and yeah, have a great one. Stay safe out there.